The last stop of the two and the five in Brooklyn. In Flatbush is the Junction. And there is a comic book shop there. All right, cool. It's bulletproof. Let's check it out. It is my local shop. It's home base, ground zero. This is my LCS. And I've done a couple of uh, local spotlights in other shops. I think I should do my own shop, right? My own local comic shop. I have two of them that are near me. Uh, two main ones that I would consider my, my local shops. My LCS. And this is one of them. So we're going to Bulletproof. Let's go check it out. Look at all the leaves that are down, huh? Foliage. It's Look at all these leaves today, huh? They're all falling down. Pretty cool looking, right? A little bit wet too, because it just rained. All right, here we are, the last stop on two and the five. There's your uh, Metro card machine here, there's a little map. And uh, there's a couple exits here because it's the last stop. So the Avenue H exit, Nostrin and uh, Brooklyn College. This will leave you right at the doorstep of Bulletproof. Let's go up these stairs for dramatic effect. And it is right here on the right. Let's see if I plan this correctly. Ooh. All right. So let's check it out. Let's go inside, see what they got. It's also a skate shop. They have skateboards in here too. Here's the uh, train station right here. And here's the shop. And they have some cool posters here. They have three Joker poster in the window. Death metal poster. All right, so right away on the left is all the uh, new books. On the wall uh, is all the new books that are out. And they have a little spin rack here. With uh, a lot of reprints. Batman Hush. Right? Batman Adventures. I'm collecting those, actually. That run. Looks like they're reprinting all of them. Batman Adventures. There's a Hulk 182 there. And there is an Avengers... There's an X-Men 4 also, right? These things. These Batman Classics. These are great. They're reprinting the Batman Adventures. It's awesome. Pick this up today. And they have the uh, Perez Wonder Woman. That Swamp Thing issue. This is at X-Men number four. Uh, Fantastic Four, the first Black Panther. That reprint, I'm gonna grab that too. It's cool to have some of those reprints. And then they have, like, uh, statues and stuff on top. I'm collecting this, too, the American Vampire. I got number one, so number two's out. I might as well grab it. And I have a uh, pull list here, too. I haven't been here in about three weeks. So I got to pick up my... I got to see what I uh, got in there. I can't remember uh, if I asked for... I don't think I asked for the last Ronin. I don't think it's in there. I'm collecting this, too. The uh, Batman Adventure continues. Check that out. And there's some statues in here. Some statuettes. Figurines. It's a cool shop. And they have some uh, collectibles on top here. All hanging across the top. They have t-shirts on the top right. They got skateboards here in the middle aisle. I see in the, in, in the back there's more skateboards. Funko Pop on the right. They have a Valiant section here. He had a relationship with Valiant. So they have all those... Uh, XO Mana Wars and some more dolls here. And they have a lot of video games also. So if you're a gamer, you get some cool stuff. Here's a little Valiant section.
And then on the bottom, looks like they have some shipments in here, but on the bottom, there's a bunch of uh, comic boxes you can go through underneath the shelves here. If you, uh, I'm not going to be digging today, but if you wanted to uh, dig through some long boxes, right? Look for some uh, gems. Just checking out all the new, new issues that are out. Seastead Planet. I guess it's a new one, right? Uh, number five. I think it's going to six. So I've been reading these. Deceased has been awesome. And Dead Planet has been good as well. So I've been picking those up. And these are all the metal uh, death metal one-shots. Trinity Crisis and uh, the Guidebook and New God. Robin King. That's in my pull list, so I'm not going to grab it because it should be in there. And um, there's a uh, Scotty Young cover, right? Fantastic Four. It's like a Marvel Zombie number one here. We can grab this for cover price. Maestro number three is out. I forgot about that. So I have one and two. I might pick up three. Right. And um, I'm going to have a couple of books here, right? With my pull list and the books that I'm grabbing now. So I don't think I'm going to go digging into uh, any sections here. But... Uh, Here's a Strange Academy number one, but I think this is, what is this, the uh, third or fourth print? That really sold out, right? I think they're on the third print, or maybe the fourth. All right, and there's a... Uh, they, they still have that Batman Dam there. Look at that. Still available. That's book three, right? And it looks like behind it is book two. Book two is behind the Batman Damned. And there's a new punchline. Punchline has a one shot out, right? Number one. Thinking about picking that up. Might be kind of cool. I didn't know that was the cover. I thought the cover was different. I thought she was looking in a mirror or something. Maybe this is a variant. A little Wolverine uh, collectible there. Yeah, this Batman Dan is still laying around, huh? Number three, you can still pick it up for cover. And book two is behind it. Book one wasn't in there. Uh, for cover, I would have grabbed that, right? Book one. Uh, so, Mocha Dead is a new Rorschach. Uh, behind us, is there's like a little manga section. And then in the back, there's trade paperbacks. And there are omnibus and uh, graphic novels. And then in the very back, there's an indie section. These are early Batman. The Tom King run is number five. Number six is here. Number four. Uh, I wasn't too crazy about that run. Here's a Batgirl number one. Birds of Prey. Some early issues of the uh, Rebirth, of the Batman Rebirth run. It's kind of cool. Got more collectibles up top here. Looks like you got the Red Hulk and the thing. That Thanos looks like it's signed on the left. I'm sorry for the glare. There was glare on it. Uh, it looks like somebody signed it. Yeah, so in the back is all the trade paperbacks. There's skateboards on top there. You see the skateboards? And the very back. There are indies, like Boom and uh, Image and all that stuff. But it looks like it's closed right now. Like they're doing some kind of uh, intake or uh, restocking or something. 
Uh, Bulletproof has a lot of variants for a uh, comic store. They have a lot of variants, and they have a detective comic uh, cover, a variant cover coming out. He's got a relationship with uh, Gabriel Delato, so I don't know what cover he's doing. But they had, like, a Detective Comics 1000 cover, Bulletproof. And I think they had an Action uh, Comics 1000, a Bulletproof exclusive variant cover. They have cards here, too. They have magic cards and uh, all those trading cards that... Uh, they used to have tournaments here. But I think with the... Uh, everything's going on with the uh, pandemic and stuff. They don't really have that anymore. This is supposed to be fucking awesome. This is supposed to be awesome, right? Just Berserk? This is supposed to be amazing. I haven't read it. Somebody was telling me maybe skip one and two and start on three. Like three to ten. Probably it's supposed to be incredible. There's so many Wolverines. There's another Wolverine number one. I don't know what this is. A one-shot or a miniseries, but... I think they really diminished that guy's brand, right? There's so many Wolverines out. Like, in the 90s, Wolverine and uh, X-Men was so huge. And now I don't even buy the Wolverines. Like, I don't even notice them or pick them up at all. That's a shame, right? I don't uh, really pick them up here. I found some low issues of uh, Batman Universe. It's kind of cool. Yeah, number two. I found number two and number one. So that was pretty cool. And I don't know if you know this, but uh, Hank found some amalgam books. Like, just came out of a wall, pretty much. Oh, really? Yeah. If you want to take a look at those as well, we got them right by the register. Oh, look at that last Ronin. Oh, I, I missed that, right? The last Ronin? It's gone, right? The last Ronin? I freaking missed that, because that was like a whole week ago, right? Yes, yes. Damn it. See, those are, these are the books right there. The Marvel books. Oh, that's awesome, man. It's got a whole bunch of them, like Iron Lantern, or Expatriates, uh, Bat Thing. Fantastic. And then uh, Dark Claw. Those last Ronins are beautiful too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Batman Beyond, what is that, 48? What is the, what's so special? This... 10, that's 10. That's, uh, I think there's just like one of the final issues or something. Yeah, it's going up to 50, right, or something? It's gonna yeah, end. up to 50, yeah. No. A lot of DC titles are going to be closed off. Yeah, yeah. man. All right, he's looking for my pull list, because I haven't been here like in uh, three or four weeks. So I forgot to get my pull list, so he's going to look for it. Uh... I want to see how many books I got. I don't remember. Oh, it's a healthy stack of books. Thank Sorry, you very much. Look at that. So I got a lot of books here. Let's add them up and see what I got here. Also, I wanted to tell you they have an auction here. If you go to their Facebook page, Bulletproof Facebook, every Wednesday and Friday from 7 to 10, they auction off exclusive comics and prints. They have a lot of prints here. So it's kind of a cool thing to check out. And what he was saying was behind the counter that the owner, Hank, found a bunch of amalgam comics. That's in the 90s. Uh, DC and Marvel got together and co-published some books and they combined their superheroes so Dark Claw was like Wolverine and Batman combined and uh, Iron Lantern was like Iron Man and Green Lantern so it was a pretty cool thing yeah I just wanted to show you Brooklyn College also over here so this is uh, at the junction it's where Nostra meets Flatbush and Brooklyn College is, lo is uh, located at the junction and also, Bulletproof Comics is there. It's a big shopping center. And uh, the subway ends there for the two and the five. So you can just get out and walk right up to the uh, comic shop. I thought I couldn't get Les Ronin, but he had a copy in there. He said the copy was damaged, um, so he put it aside. But I said, I'll take it. And you know, people are very particular right now. They want like 9.8s or nothing. So I took it, it was cover price. I picked up the Les Ronin. I got a copy of it. I wanted to show you guys. Cool, man. And uh, it's a variant. So I got a really good copy of it. It looks good to me. It looks like an 8.5, 9.0. I'll take it. Cover price. I thought I missed it. Now I got it. All right, cool. I'll check it out. I heard this is a good read.